Hello again, everyone. This is Justin Finneran, Social Media Specialist with Certainty Roofing. In the last video, I showed you how to use our pre-formatted gallery to visualize homes within the ColorView Mobile tool. This part of the tutorial series is going to go into uploading your own image and working on masking your home with ColorView Mobile, the do-it-yourself mode, we like to call it, the image mapper tool. Similarly to when you're working with the pre-formatted homes, when you're uploading an image of your own home, you'll also be prompted to enter a zip code. Again, this is for the purpose of showing you products that are available to your region. So in order to work with the do-it-yourself mode, start on the, the right side here. We have the upload an image option. You can tap on that to get started. And ColorView Mobile is going to ask you where you want to draw your image from, from the stored pictures, Take a new picture with an iPad. For the purposes of what we're doing right now, we're going to go from our stored pictures. We'll give you the option of where to choose pictures from. We are going to go in here, choose a home image that I previously added to the iPad. Now on the left side menu bar here, which uh, you can toggle by hitting menu in the top left of your iPad. You can see here this open and closing, so you can take full advantage of your screen real estate. On the left side here, we have the options of the areas that we want to work with. You can pinch in on the image, move it around on your iPad to get a better idea of what you're working with here. But we're going to mask out the roof space. Now, in order to do this, we make sure that we select roof from that left column by tapping on the plus sign next to roof. You see here it created a new region. ColorView Mobile works with different regions, siding regions, roofing regions, paint regions, etc. Each one that you add will default to the name Region 1, Region 2, and so forth. You can edit that by tapping on the name itself. And let's call this Roof 1. Hit Enter. So now we're working within the roof region of Roof 1. Now what we want to do is let ColorView Mobile know what space we want to visualize by actually drawing it. You see on the top left here you have the Draw, fill and perspective options. We're going to work within draw. We want to make sure that we have our roof space selected. You can see here it's highlighted in gray. If we wanted to work with siding, we would tap that region. You can see here the dark gray is the region that you currently have selected. So make sure that you have roof one selected. Very important that you're working within the correct region working with your visualizer. So when we go to draw, let's minimize our menu while we're doing this. And now, in order to draw a space, you simply tap on the screen. And what you're going to do is create a polygon by tapping on multiple spaces. I'm tapping on each corner of the roof cover here, as best I can with the chimneys in the way. And I'm creating a space that's going to be visualized. Now, you're able to get in very detailed by pressing and holding on one of the gray circles, one of the corners. You can see here it magnifies that plus sign. Pretty much your crosshairs and exactly where you want your space to fall. So once you draw your shape, you can get back in here, pressing and holding on these circles. And then they're really tight. And we're going to go to the bottom right corner over here. You can see we want to make sure we visualize that space just right there. Top right as well. Again, we have a little chimney in the way here. Make our best guess as to where that falls. For now, we can get in and tighten it up a bit later. You notice that there's smaller circles between these other spaces. The purpose for those is if you want to add another corner, another angle. You can tap on that, hold on it, and you've created another angle to work with. We'll lay that right down there where it should be. Now we've masked out this space. That's step one. Now, it's very important for folks to understand is that the slope, the scale of the roofing product is determined by the perspective tool. So once you've drawn your shape, you want to add it, and then we'll go into the perspective mode. In order to add the shape you've drawn at the bottom here next to the discard trash can icon there is the word add. After you've drawn your space, you have to add the space so ColorView Mobile knows to save it. So you tap on add. You notice the color changes. Now you've successfully added that region 
to ColorView Mobile, and now you can get into adjusting the perspective of that space and adding products.